let's do this. Hello, people. Another beautiful day or afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Hope your five senses work or your health and strength is good or excellent. What? And to you Steam Deck fans again, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion was good. <laughs> Steam Deck Mob, mm -hmm. remember me? Yeah. <laughs> Steam Deck Squad, what's up with it? Look, <laughs> look, man, um, you know, the Switch, the Nintendo Switch should have never been built, man. Should have never been built. You know, building the Switch to me was a complete waste of time because you had the Wii U. The Nintendo had the Wii U to deal with. And the Wii U was really a protection for the entire Nintendo fan base. So, whatever the, whatever the competition is doing, you already got it covered with the Wii U. Because basically, the Wii U is a handheld and console in one. And you have a lot of things covered. You got a lot of you got a lot of things covered with it, whether it's streaming, remote play, portability, console gaming, motion gaming, gaming on four controllers. You got a you got the virtual console to deal with all that, right? So they should have never built the switch. And whatever the the competition is doing is like, okay, we already got it covered because we got the virtual console, right? What am I getting at? They got this Game Boy converter for the Steam Deck. Listen to this. You can now use the Steam Deck like a real Game Boy. It says the Valve Steam Deck can now run can now run old Game Boy cartridges as Epi Epilogue Game Game Boy Operator device is now compatible with the portable powerhouse. So now this goes. So now this goes back to what I've been saying about the Wii U. The Switch should have never been built. I told you. What is the Virtual Console? It's your public library. It's your bookstore. Your your Virtual Console is for like uh, it's for natural disasters, whenever the things happen, right? So N Nintendo's main job was to take all those games from their Game Boy, Game Boy line of games, and all their Nintendo console, and put all that in the Virtual Console. Look what they're doing on the Steam Deck. Playing Game Boy games on the Steam Deck. So, if they got this for the Steam Deck, right? If Nintendo would have stayed with the Wii U, by the time this thing, this little device came out, Nintendo would be like, okay, we already got everything covered already because we put all our games in a virtual console. We're not worried about that anymore. See what I'm... See, see what I mean? So, the, um... The Wii U was really the answer to the Nintendo fan base problem because they got they got so many things covered with it, and not only that, with the Wii U tablet, you can put a motherboard, CPU, GPU, RAM, uh, APU, in a solid st a, a, is, is, or either a SATA hard drive or a solid state hard drive in a tablet. They had everything covered with that console. The Wii U is complete. Not only that, it helped. It's, not only that, it also got a docking station for it. So. What are you building the switch for? And when they build this, when they went and built the switch, they open a can of worms. So now, all kind of competitors now in the handheld market is coming at them and running their games on their uh, on their devices like the Steam Deck, the A and Neo, GPD, One X, and um, who else? Logitech. You know what I'm saying the Wii U was really a protection for the Nintendo fan base, and all they had to do was change the architecture to x86, put some power in the tablet, put some power in the console, put some storage space on that CD, and take all your Nintendo games that you have from the Game Boy and all the Nintendo console, take all that and store it in the virtual console. So whenever the, whenever, whenever the competition tried to do something, meaning, competition meaning Sony, Valve, Microsoft, whoever, uh, A and Neo, whatever, uh, A and Neo, GPD, um, One X, you're like, oh, we already got it. We, we already got that covered with the Wii U. The Wii U was the the Wii U is still the real deal. They should have never built the Switch. So now people are like, okay, since you didn't take care of business over here with the Wii U, we're gonna use the Steam Deck and, and, and accomplish what you tried to accomplish. So basically, I look, I would not look, I would not be surprised. If they make an N64 converter like the Game Boy, or make an NES or a Super Nintendo uh, converter like this Game Boy one, 
and have it running on the Steam Deck. Anyway, listen to this. It says here, you can now use your Steam Deck like a real Game Boy. Valve Steam Deck can now run old games. Cartridge as Epilogue Game Boy Operator device is not compatible with port Portable Powerhouse. It says here, it's now possible to explore your, your old Game Boy collection in Steam Deck thanks to a new compatible gaming PC accessory dubbed the Game Boy Operator. The, the attachment utilized original Nintendo cartridge, an original Nintendo cartridges with an S. That means the NES, Super Nintendo, 64, and all the Game Boys you can think of. Steam Deck, folks. Anyway, um, <clears throat> says here, uh, designed by Epo Epo Epilogue, the nifty Steam Deck accessory initially bridged the gap between old, the original Game Boy and your Windows PC. However, a recent tweet from the company say now works with Valve's handheld and accompanying image show the team has plugged Mario Kart uh, sup, uh, plugged Mario Kart Super Circuit into their device demonstrating the demonstrating the USB-C connectivity with a sp uh, with a decently sized cable and plug into the into the top port the Game Boy operator works with con works in conjunction with an accompanying app and Epilogue says it works impeccably with Steam OS. The accessory itself uh, features an internal emulator that can update and save files. You see why the Switch should have never been built? But anyway, it says here, so you should be able to switch between the deck and the original Nintendo console without losing progress. And then it says, when asked on Twitter about the possibility of a SNES a alternative, <laughs> Epilogue said there's already prototypes in the works. <laughs> the image, this image means if you have any SNES cartridge lying around, it may soon be possible to play those two. Of course, you might need to wait for some sort of bracket unless you're able to deal with old games dangling from your Steam Deck. <laughs> and then it says uh, the Game Boy Operator sounds like a green attachment for for that for that dose of Nintendo nostalgia on the go. And it could save you from splashing out the original hardware. Also uh, pairing the Game Boy setup with best Steam Deck Doc, mean you can play retro, retro handheld uh, relics on a bigger screen, so you won't have to switch over to your gaming PC to kick back. <laughs> and that's the end of the article. Look, I tried to I tried to tell people that the Switch should have never been built years, uh, months ago, weeks ago, even years now. And this is what I was also getting at. Nintendo had work to do and they tried to avoid it. So now, you got a company now called Epilogue now made a Game Boy converter for the Steam Deck. So that means they can make one for the, the Sega Genesis, the, the Sega Genesis, the Neo Geo. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Uh, probably Turbo Graphics with those little... Uh, with those little uh, uh, cards that they had for the console, cartridges they had for the console. Um, the NES, the SNES, the 64. <laughs> um, what else? And all the Game Boys. All the Game Boys you can think of. Yeah. See, sales is not the end all be all to video games and Phil Spencer was right about this and Nintendo had work to do and they tried to avoid all this so now you got a company now since the Steam Deck is as powerful as it is is making a converter now for the Steam Deck where you can play all those cartridge games that you could think of that, that were that were on consoles to go along <laughs> to go along with that huge uh, huge library of games that the Steam Deck got Plus your emulation games. Like I said to you before, <laughs> there's 24 hours in a day, 
how many games can you finish? Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris is still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Work, dark side. Oh.